Hey guys, so I've got something very, very exciting to show you. Well, maybe not that exciting. It is it's quite exciting. Uh, it's the Borderless Electronics board. The $9 Arduino has arrived, finally. It's been stuck in uh, this like shipping area in Hong Kong for God knows how long, because it was stuck in a container with batteries and you can't ship those or something like that. Anyway, it's finally here. I've waited about a month over the time it was meant to take, but I don't mind because it was a great little project, uh, a great idea behind it that you could create these little Arduino boards for $9, sell them really cheaply and send so kids can learn, uh, anyone with the means to spend $9 can learn how to program an Arduino. You do need a computer as well, there are some other stuff you kind of need. But this kit has arrived and I want to sort of unenvelope it for you. So I haven't even opened this yet, so I have no idea what's inside. I've blocked out my address, I hope you don't mind. Uh, so let's get to it. Right, so here it is, the moment of truth. This is kind of exciting. Uh, so it's just a standard padded envelope with a nice Borders Electronics logo there, which is pretty cool, open source hardware. God, it's, uh, I think it might be quite difficult to get into. Right, let's get it out. Okay, here we go. So it came as a kit. So it came with loads of stuff. Originally, I thought it was just gonna be the board, which is just there. But eventually, as the, the in, was it Indiegogo? I think it was Indiegogo. Uh, as that campaign continued, they were able, well, Harold, the guy that ran it, was able to add more and more things to it so that uh, people got a sort of complete kit, which is great. So it comes with one of these tiny little solderless breadboard things. Um, there's the board itself. I'll, uh, I'll get a pair of scissors in a second and we can take a closer look at that. Uh, oh, stickers. Everybody loves stickers. I never use them, I just sort of hold on to them. So that's uh, this is a little card, so it's sort of advertising make block, I think. That looks awesome. I kind of want one of those. Uh, we've got another little card oh, to make block as well, and some stickers, and we've got a USB cable here, always useful, and this one's pretty cool, it's got a flat cable on it. Uh, I've got loads of these, to be honest, so it's sort of a waste to have so many, uh, and some of these. I recently bought some of these, actually, um, I've never owned them before, but they're pretty cool, so they those can... These are like double-headed uh, jumper wires, really. Uh, and then we've got a packet with loads of stuff in. I'm going to have to go and get a pair of scissors so I can take all this stuff out to show you. Right, so let's start with the board itself. So there it is. It's a lovely little board, actually. Uh, I'm quite impressed with that. So on the back you can see, oh. So on the back you can see it's got sort of details of board electronics. It's just a standard Leonardo, really Leonardo clone, uh, which means it can do everything that a Leonardo can. So we've got the board. We've also got this packet of components. So let's get these out. Careful not to snip any of them. So as the, as the project grew, he added more and more components to it, and so we've got some buttons here, some of these uh, contact buttons, so you just press them and they go on, then they come off again. So how many of those? We've got three of those. We've got a little piezo speaker, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, it's just a little, little electronic speaker. Uh, we've got some LEDs, always good to have. I do have hundreds of these now though. Uh, there's a diode there, uh, there's another LED, this is a transistor just there, uh, some more diodes, uh, a bunch of resistors, I assume they match the, uh, the LEDs for 5 volts, uh, we've got a light, what are these called, they react to light, I can't remember what they're called, LDR I'm sure it is. A light dependent resistor. Uh, there's another transistor there. Another diode. A lot of diodes. Do you know what? I never use diodes. 
another LED, and then we've got uh, the 9 volt battery, the PP9 clip to uh, the barrel jack, which goes right in there. So that's how you're going to power your board. I tend to power mine via USB anyway, just because it's, it's kind of safe that way. So that's it, that's the kit. I'm pretty impressed with it. That was $12 delivered, so it's $9 for the board and for everything in it, and then $3 for delivery. Well worth it. Uh, I'm very impressed. I hope Harold manages to do this again and create more of, uh, more of these boards. Uh, and I'll do something with this in the future, but it's only a Leonardo, so I've done stuff with that board before. It's, uh, it's got that USB HID thing, which means it can act as a USB device, which is pretty cool, like a keyboard or a mouse. So it's a really good board for $9. I'm very, very impressed. Well, thanks for watching. Um, if you guys have, have got one of these in the post, then uh, comment. It'd be great to, to hear what everyone else thinks of them. Oh, there are two sets of resistors there. Uh, I don't know what they are. It doesn't say anywhere. Uh, I'd have to look it up. But if anyone's got one, I'd love to hear what they're doing with it and what they think of the project. So thanks for watching. Bye.